so hello and welcome back to the new video of the postman tutorial series so in our previous video we have talked about the http protocols and http uh, codes and now for in this video we will be uh, talking about the get and post uh, method call that you give through postman in depth okay so uh, first of all let us see wh what is get and post uh, okay so while the http post method is used to send the data to a server to create or update a resource okay so uh, when we use the post method uh, when we want to send a, da a particular data to the server and want to create or update any kind of uh, means any kind of uh, creation or deletion up, uh, update or the updation part that you want to do inside your server through the client side then in that case you send the post request right the http get request is used to request a data from a specified uh, specified resource and should have no other effect okay so what when we use the get method when we want to fetch a data from a server and uh, put it inside a client ui that means uh, when we call that this app.diagrams.net uh, it will go to the server and it will fetch the entire that file uh, it is a get get method and it fetch and uh, it displays uh, given give, that file is given back to my browser and browser will render the html css and javascript for that file uh, okay uh, so that i can see that entire page in a well formatted manner with uh, css applied okay so that is the get method and http post request provides the additional data for that data from the client to the server message body okay so as we discussed post method uh, creates or updates a resources for that you have to send a, a data with that uh, post method uh, or the request to through that network okay uh, so for this video we will be using one uh, uh, api that is free api dummy api uh, which is uh, request.in request response.in okay so this is the test your content uh, against a real api so this is this is a, a dummy api all the fake data is being uh, put it inside this api uh, the responses you will get uh, are the real ones uh, it means it look it looks like uh, real and it is always on 24 by 7 you you can access this api anytime anywhere okay and now uh, yeah, yeah here you can see the doc, doc their documentation is there uh, they have given the various calls that you can make to this api that, that is the request api uh, the get call the post call the put call the patch delete uh, and so these are the various call that you can make to this api and these are they are also told you uh, various get call like list list user single user if you want to display the single user that is being uh, there inside this api okay and you want to list the users then in that case what will be your uh, means uh, the request that you sell what will be the request and what will be the response code if everything is okay then you should get a response code of 200 so this is the uh, documentation for this and you can see uh, there are uh, users they have mentioned over here and if you want to support them you can also support the request by clicking it clicking over here and you can donate them some bucks okay so let me just go ahead and uh, open up my postman uh, we'll see uh, in this video what is get and post request we'll make one request to this request api and try to understand uh, how the get and post works right so this is our previous uh, previous uh, video ap uh, api or uh, let me just uh, save changes yeah so it is uh, there inside the deck of cards api we have tested one api deck of cards in our previous videos if you haven't watched that go ahead go and watch that first okay so now let's get into the video and create our first get and post uh, request to the request api okay so uh, for first uh, let me just uh, give you okay so there are multiple get requests that you can uh, give to this api right so what we'll be doing uh, we'll be seeing a list of users and single users okay so let me click on the list users you can see uh, what will be the my request uh, here you can see I can, if i click on this you can see uh, it, it will uh, go into the new tab and you can see request.in slash api slash users and after the co question mark whatever you write those are the query parameters we do have one separate video on the query parameter as well 
uh, in upcoming videos we'll see that one as well but for time being now just to understand you the slash api slash users is the resource that we are trying to fetch and after the question mark whatever they have written those are the query parameters right so what what we are telling this api is uh, go to this res uh, go to this endpoint um, fetch me this api slash users resource and put the query parameter as page 2 okay so if i uh, click on uh, page one if i want to get the page one if i as soon as i write one page one and if i and hit enter so you can see uh the, the it is giving me the raw data but i have one uh, extension installed in my pc that is uh, json viewer pro you can also get it from the chrome extensions uh, what it will do is uh, whenever it uh, gets the json uh, object it will prettify it or it will uh, show you in a well formatted manner like this uh, if you don't want that uh, you can just uh, uh, turn off your uh, this uh, json viewer pro turn off it and you will see the default uh, json object okay and you can also uh, see the chart for this the, like response or then or per page total page like that so it is a, a very good extension you can you can also install in your pc okay a chrome browser and you can go okay so now if i write uh, get back to two yeah page number two there are many users the id 7 8 9 10 11 12 so yeah uh, it's working fine so now we go ahead and uh, get this uh, uh, url and paste it into in our what we can say postman okay so you let me copy this i go into my postman i will paste my url uh, and as soon as I paste, uh, you can see query parameters get updated because uh, after the question marks, what is the key? Key is the uh, key is my page, and what is the value? Two is my value. Okay, and since it is a get request, so I will select the get from this drop down, and I will hit enter. Uh, sorry, sorry, send. And you can see a same uh, same kind of response I get from here that I am getting over here as well okay so same kind of response uh, the postman given to me and that too has a status of 200 okay so you can see uh, they also mentioned if, if everything is fine you should get the response as 200 okay and let me go ahead and uh, give the uh, page as one so it will list, me, list down the uh, number of users or the users that uh, belongs to page one like one two three four five six uh, those, those six members are belong to the page number one okay so this is the first get request that we have made uh, now uh, now if you want to print or the get the single user right not print get then in then in that case they do have this uh, request dot in slash api slash user now in this time you don't put any query parameter you just write slash two that that indicates that you want to retrieve uh, retrieve the uh, user that whose id is two right so we will go ahead and just copy that url okay let me just copy this url okay wait let me just copy okay and we will go inside our postman just paste this and hit send yeah the same output you will get you will get the entire data for the uh, user whose id is true like their email their first name their last name their avatar okay so everything you got from here okay so this is about the get uh, get request uh, get method okay uh, now we will see one uh, example of the post as well so as i told you post is used for the updation or creation uh, of new user inside your a server uh, or anything that you want to create a new okay so yeah, for this api they do have one post request post method that is create method and they do have their own uh, you can see request dot in slash api slash users so this will give me the whole list of the users that those are there here and by default it will show me the page number one uh, and per page six users are there you can see six users are there and total 12 pages uh, total pages 2 are there and these are the information and now since this is the post method uh, as i told you uh, you have to pass one 
one or more uh, query parameters that uh, they ask or the input to that assume if you if you are uh, filling up a form like a login the login form there you have to uh, give your username and password and you hit the submit button right so in that case your username and password should have uh, uh, been passed over the network to the a through the api to the server so that server can authenticate that uh, that yes you are the authenticated person for uh, for that website and server will in response give you the dashboard or access uh, of your account okay so in that case uh, we do have to pass these many parameters to the api in, in order to get the post request call okay so let me just go ahead and uh, copy this uh, url and we will go inside our postman and we will paste this url over here and now since uh, we want to create a new user inside your ser inside our server, then we have to uh, make our uh, call uh, change our method as post method. And now, uh, now as I said, you uh, these these many parameters, this API is uh, asking us to give uh, give it to it. And now, if we go here, now to pass these many uh, parameters, since this is a JSON object, you have to pass that. Now you just go here I click on the body click on the raw and instead of text uh, check on the JSON for JSON okay so now you go ahead and uh, get this object control C and just put down your object over here and you can change anything okay so uh, I can name it as Alan and the job is worker maybe okay so this this is the data that i am passing to the api uh, over this uh, endpoint and to and the call is of method post method okay so when i hit enter okay so you can see it is uh, telling me that 201 created so you can see uh, what is, what is saying the request has been fulfilled and resulted in a new resource being created okay so what is the resource uh, the name is alan the job is worker and id is uh, automatically getting created by the api and created at the time uh, of which uh, time at which the this uh, users get this user get created inside their server okay and the, and here is here also you can see you should get the 201 uh, response code uh, if everything is working fine and this uh, user will get added inside the server over this post method okay so this is how the post method works uh, and get method works in postman and you can use uh, these uh, recres dot in and play around it and get uh, try to get uh, the get and post method is uh, and try to learn it okay so in our upcoming videos we will see put patch and delete uh, how, how we can uh, uh, to perform this operation put patch and delete using this uh, recres dot in dummy api okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one